Good evening, everybody. And despite the fact that I have just knocked a cup of coffee in my lap and a suit that's just out of the cleaners, it's great to be home. Put me back into Ebbets Field, if you will, because obviously a lot of today's fans, they read about it, they know it historically, but they don't really know the feel of the ballpark. Paint for me, you know, the sights, the sounds, even the smells of that little diamond in Flatbush. Well, first of all, to the people today, they see big stadiums or carefully architecturally designed to hold 40,000. Ebbets Field was just a small ballpark uh, built really on the garbage area in Brooklyn. There was an intimacy with the crowd. Today's ballparks, uh, the crowds are like wallpaper. They make sounds, but you, you're not rare of individuals. So that to me is the biggest single difference uh, between modern day baseball, big stadia, and then Little Ebbets Field. It was October 4th, 1955, 3.45 p.m., and you're the only one who's ever been able to say these words. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brooklyn Dodgers are champions of the world. Right, and that's all I could have said. Had I tried to say something else, I probably would have broken down. I was so happy for those players whom I knew well whose frustrations and anguish I knew well because I'd been with them since 1950. So when they finally win, I really felt for their happiness. It was a marvelous feeling. When that ball was in the glove of Gil Hodges and it was all over, and we went through the tunnel, when we came out on the other side, it wasn't baseball, it wasn't football. It was like VE Day and VJ Day thousands of people partying out. It was amazing. There always was, I think, a sense of us against the world in Brooklyn. And Brooklyn was always made fun of, and all the service war movies, the guy from Brooklyn always spoke funny and dumb. And all. So this was the answer to the lordly spires of New York. Uh, they, they beat him, finally. And it was just incredible. We really got the blues about what's happening in Brooklyn. It ain't official yet. We hope official it don't get. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ben Scully speaking to you from the Los Angeles Coliseum as opening day has finally come to Southern California. I've been asked several times now already, what will you miss the most when you retire? I said the crowd, the roar of the crowd. Uh, it in, absolutely enthralled me when I was eight years old, and here's a kid in a walk-up uh, fifth-floor apartment in New York. I had crawled under the big radio we had in the living room. It wasn't the teams or the players, the roar. And look who's coming up. That really started me in the direction of broadcasting, and I was about eight. So now, when I'm in the booth, uh, Kurt Gibson hits a home run, the place goes bananas. I shut up, I sit there, and for that little moment of time, I'm eight years old. 